decidimos, decidimos conmemorar este día eh, y presentar un espacio que fuera abierto para, para las personas que, que vengan a expresar el sentimiento que quisieran, ya fuera un sentimiento de celebrar, de que están bien, de que después de un año han podido, podido sobrevivir, han podido... Eh, salir adelante dentro de, 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 la, de su capacidad, ¿verdad? Este, celebrar que tenemos familiares que pasaron por esa tragedia y que todavía están vivos. También estamos, queremos recordar, queremos, no nos queremos olvidar que todavía hay gente en Puerto Rico que está sin luz y sin agua, que hay gente que han perdido sus pertenencias porque perdieron sus trabajos, gente que están enfermas todavía a raíz del huracán. We decided that it was important to recognize the date of September 20th. Um, that is a date that changed our lives uh, for those of us here in the U.S. that have family and friends on the island and of course for the folks on the island that had this experience and, and literally lived through this trauma and uh, you know in the past year we have seen how the the incompetence and the negligence of the government both at the local level in Puerto Rico as well as the federal level continues to show up and so we we saw a government that talked about having you know 64 deaths um, based on on a hurricane that we know devastated the island and how it wasn't until the Harvard study came out saying that the number was probably more like 4,645 people that that narrative really started to change and people started to pay attention to the, the details that and the stories that the Puerto Ricans themselves were telling us. Um, you know, it, it was, uh, it, it took that study to come out and then of course the most recent study from George Washington University, which the government in Puerto Rico actually funded, $300,000 they paid. They paid $300,000 for George Washington University to come up with this study that now says that it's more like 2,975 people who died because of Maria. And regardless of the number that we look at, it's the fact that we have many people right here in Holyoke, all throughout Western Mass, that have been impacted by this. And so we wanted to offer a space that was not just about recognizing the date and being somber, but also celebrating the resilience of the Boricuas and the Puerto Rican people. Um, knowing that for everyone it looks different. You know, for some people, September 20th will be a day of just being very solemn, a day of, um, you know, just mourning, you know. For other people, it will be a matter of, you know, remembering those that um, showed, you know, their most resilient time. El agua nosotros la traemos del monte, donde sale de una piedra, y entonces la traemos por tubería hasta de la caja de agua que tenemos ahí. Entonces, de aquí yo echo en la man en este balde para que el sol la caliente. Y entonces este es el agua que uso para bañarla a ella. And so we just want to offer a space for whatever that looks like for people. Um, we're going to have an open mic so that folks can share with us uh, poetry and, and thoughts that they've come up with. And that's going to be for whoever you know wants to speak in English or Spanish. It doesn't matter, Spanglish. Um, we're also going to have an opportunity to talk about, um, do a, a walkthrough uh, in terms of, of some of the pieces of, of Puerto Rico um, and the culture and the history and the things that, you know, the, the mainstream media didn't very much cover. The Smithsonian collaborates with FEMA to co-sponsor the Heritage Emergency National Task Force, which is a group of responding federal agencies that can be tasked with attending to cultural heritage disasters or uh, problems, uh, whether natural disasters or other. Estamos principalmente colaborando con el Archivo General y Biblioteca Nacional de Puerto Rico y instituciones bajo el vido del Instituto de Cultura puertorriqueña. También hemos estado estableciendo conexiones con la Universidad de Puerto Rico y sus diferentes recintos y otros museos y e instituciones alrededor de, de Puerto Rico que se dedican a preservar la la cultura y el, y lo que es el, el patrimonio de Puerto Rico. And then we also want to recognize our culture. And so there'll be an opportunity for people to, you know, if they want to just kind of be in their own space and, and play some dominoes, that'll be available. If people want to do their own vejigante masks, that'll be available. So, you know, we want to do it sort of as a, a showcase 
of whatever folks feel they need to do that day. Um, and so we, we look forward to offering that space for our community and, and working together towards planning that. La importancia de este evento va a ser en explicarle a las personas que tuvieron que dejar la isla querida de tantos de nosotros, ¿me entiendes? Porque aunque muchos de nosotros estamos aquí en Holio y llevamos años acá, um, es una experiencia diferente para las personas que están llegando recién. Entonces queremos dejarles saber, mira, aquí estamos para ustedes, porque somos son parte de nosotros. Aunque nosotros llevemos años acá, aunque nunca algunos de nosotros est estuvimos en la, en la isla, lo que sea, es para dejarles saber a las personas que aquí hay espacio para ellos. Part of the part of the event also is to recognize the resilience of Puerto Ricans here in Holyoke for many years. Um, we will have a march to commemorate a, a protest that happened in Holyoke in 1981 um, when a mother and her children died in a fire. Um, so, and part of that is to really connect the struggle of the Puerto Rican people both on the island and here in the U.S. and in particularly here in Holyoke. I think for me, how is it possible that as an island, we and being quote unquote American citizens, we still have people who don't have water, who don't have medical supplies, who don't, how is that even possible when the U.S. in general has always been there to rescue other countries? Yo soy originalmente de Ecuador y aunque yo no soy puertorriqueña, para mí es muy importante apoyar este evento porque para mí esto va más allá de una nacionalidad, para mí esto es cosa de humanidad. Entonces para mí es bien importante hacerme presente en este momento para apoyar a mis hermanos puertorriqueños, para dejarles saber que no están solos, que aquí hay gente que va a luchar por ellos, que hay recursos disponibles y que tenemos todas las ganas y todo, todos los ánimos de, de ayudarles a echar para adelante. We were surrounded by a lot of fruit. It was wonderful. And then it was all blown to pieces. I saw this house go up at 3 o'clock in the morning. I thought I was next. I slept in two inches of cold water for two days. I was like six days. Wet. The house is missing, but their mattress was found a quarter mile away. The devastation and destruction in the Montellano region above Ponce in Puerto Rico is beyond imagination.